channel. This is Javier and the channel is Retire, Recharge and Realm. So I wanted to share with you real quick some information that we learned today around the tourism promotion for the country of Laos uh, for 2024. There's some pretty amazing events and activities that are planned for the year. Uh, really there is there's a huge initiative that's being put forth to attract tourism this year for 2024 and going into 2025. So I wanted to share with you what we learned today when we went to the Tourism Information Center. Uh, as we were there, we picked up some promotional literature. So I'll share with you, this is the QR code. Hopefully you can scan that and pull the information off yourself. If not, you can get to the, the website, which is tourismlaos.org which I'm on right now, so I can read just a few key points off of this. For 2024, um, there is what's called the launch of Visit Lao Year 2024 by the Ministry of Information, Tourism and Culture. Uh, the theme um, for this year is a paradise of Lao culture, nature, and history. And there's a number of different activities, something like 79 events that are on the calendar that uh, really span across uh, both national level and provincial or local level events, highlighting uh, various cultural centers, museums, ecotourism activities, uh, those kind of things. And speaking of which, one of the things that we learned today while we were at the Information Center was just the, the ethnic diversity, which I thought was, was pretty amazing. So there was uh, something like 68 different ethnic uh, groups within the country, speaking over 90 different local uh, languages. So just amazing, pretty pretty crazy, the, the cultural uh, ethnic diversity, uh, as well as the just the uh, pristineness, uh, the beauty of the nature, a lot of uh, ecotourism within the country, so again, just wanted to share with you what we learned on our visit to the Tour Tourist Information Center. And now we'll share a, a video of our visit so you can hear for yourself. All right, see you in the video. Okay, so this is the VNTN Capital Tourist Information Center from the outside. It's adjacent to Tat Luang Square. And as you come around the uh, the bottom corner of Tat Long, and we'll take a walk inside. So this map shows all the key points of interest yeah. and it also shows the um, the bus routes and everything so that's good. Yeah, the roads, the roads everything and uh, what is the space here. Hmm. What, like a, you have the short time you want to allow in city. This is a good way to show kind of the key areas in the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah, for example, it's Tadluang. Yeah, they have some little bit of history too. Oh, this is nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it tells you a little bit about the each site. Yeah. So this is a little bit of history. 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 So this is a little bit of
So if you only had one day in Vien Sa, these are the top sites that you would come to see. Yeah. Mm. That's nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. that one it kind of take a little bit longer. Oh. You know, you have to take the, some uh, local service like a. You know, transportation or whatever that take a little bit longer. For example, is it the from Vientiane to Budapest take thirty to forty minutes okay. to just get out mm-hmm. there and you explore in there for maybe thirty forty minutes, same thing, and mm-hmm. we have to get out there take already two three hours okay. to go and come back. I see. You know? That makes sense. Yeah. That's all different kind of the festival in Buen Thad Luang in a year, you know. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, and then it shows you. It should be, actually that Thad Luang festival should be on November every year. Okay. And then, Lao. Lao. Yeah, that's some Bimai Lao. It's the water festival for April, every April. Mm-hmm. Mong, Bimai Mong. Moon, New Year. Yeah. Moon New Year. This is every year around January? Yeah, it should be. I, it's just, I don't see the month yet. I need to the new month. I need to the new ขอบคุณค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค
นักท่องเที่ยวเข้ามาค่อยอยากไปจุดนั้นอยากไปจุดนี้นั่งรถแบบไหนเขาอาจจะเท้ากำลังแบบลมสร้างคอนเนคชั่นแล้วก็จะรวมเงินนักท่องเที่ยวมานี่อยากให้เงินรถให้ซีนั้นเขาขอในรับอันเสร็จแล้วก็Okay, so thank you for the introduction on the uh, center. And this is a great uh, view of all the activities. And it's nice that it's all online and interactive, so there's no paper. Involved, so it's a good way to be sustainable. <laughs> And I think the other thing that I like about this is that the map, so you, from here you can plan where you want to go to do the different activities. And I like that this one also has a little bit about the transportation also, the bus routes for people that are using public transportation. That's nice. Following the tech screen introduction of the tourism plans, we also uh, reviewed some of the literature and the tourism maps that included event and festival information, um, as well as information on the various locations. This is all located uh, if you follow the QR link or go to the website. <laughs> It's going to be coffee shop. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. We already opened it. Is it? Yeah. What do you think of you? Somebody? It's nice. So the building adjacent to the Tourism Information Center you saw downstairs was housed in the coffee shop as well as business and meeting rooms. And upstairs is located a gift shop where uh, various local handcrafted uh, items will be housed and available for sale. So everything from local handmade um, bags, handbags and baskets from local craftsmen within the country of Laos to also um, things like incense made from agar wood, which is a special uh, aromatic wood from the, the region of Southeast Asia and especially from the country of Laos. So very special. Towards the end of our visit at the Tourism Information Center, we were pleasantly surprised to have an invite for an afternoon tea with Mina, Dai, and Mr. Lee, the staff at the Tourism Information Center, where we continue to, to learn more about really the efforts that have been underway by the, the center and the Ministry of Tourism 
uh, to really focus on Lao tourism for 2024 and really drive more awareness around the country as a center for nature and cultural diversity and really um, really focus on the continued priorities around communication, um, again, driving awareness and providing support and availability uh, to provide answers for tourists that are uh, traveling to Vientiane and looking for uh, the sights and sounds of the local city as well as using Vientiane as a launch pad to travel around the rest of the country. So just a few more shots here of us completing our tea tasting. For those that are not uh, familiar with uh, tea in Laos, this is Baksong Ruby Red. So this is from the southern uh, city of Baksong, which is located in the Bolivan Plateau. Uh, so the southern region of the country of Laos is uh, famous for its coffee uh, and tea plantations. Something about the microclimate of the region makes it very conducive to, to growing um, some of the best coffee and tea, um, in my opinion. So I've never been there, but after this tasting, I definitely have it on my list of places to go visit, and I'd recommend it. And again, just want to say a big thank you to the staff of the Information Center for hosting us for the, the day and allowing us to get a nice, tasty uh, testing of some Baksong tea and then having a look at some of the agar wood incense, which is also pretty amazing. Just a little bit about the Vientiane Capital Tourist Information Center. Nina, Nina Kapjai, thank you for showing this to us. So guys, we had a great visit at the Vientiane Capital Tourism Center. We learned a lot about plans for 2024. We've got a great year planned. So if you're in the area, make sure and stop by talk to Nina and she can give you all the information you need to plan a great visit to the NTN and the surrounding areas. All right, thank you.